Johnny's a first responder. I got a hold of him a couple months ago. They've taught millions of Americans. A person's comatose, labored, shallow breathing, turning blue from lack of oxygen, making funny breathing noises. Then they instruct people to deny rescue breathing and give chest compressions to a beating heart. And they're eagerly doing it. There's hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. Just like Tim Tebow, the NFL football player, knocked unconscious on the field, more than likely. And what they do is give him smelling salts and make sure his airways open, certainly don't be pounding on his chest. So there's a little video here of Tim talking about the troubled times. He's a Christian man. With this COVID and the troubles you're having down there, or some backlash to the government, people are dissatisfied. And so, Mr. Trump and I have the same birth date. I was on a webinar with Homeland Security and EMS. They teach the proper way to save lives. And here, some of the police's training instructions, which is wrong, wrong, in the medical profession, wrong, wrong, and they know it. And here's a tweet, the original tweet, a photo of the tweet to the president, Mr. Tebow. Anyway, I put this image in there. Think before you speak. Breathe or joy. Most important thing is breathing. It's the most important food group. And then I put some Bible quotes down here. Matthew 9.24 Jesus said, No, she's not dead. She's comatose. Jesus gave rescue breaths and something to eat because she was a hemophiliac by all accounts of reading the Bible. Loss of blood will put you comatose, so you need some air. And then John 20, 22, after Jesus was resurrected from the cross, he breathed upon his disciples, because when you get crucified, you suffocate to death. That's the cause of death. And then Genesis 2, 7, God breathed the breath of life into humankind. I want to read the comment box and save your own lives and stop making yourself sick because a child knows what they're doing is wrong. Medical information is hyperlinked.